Hey, what's going on? <clears throat> Today I am going to be reviewing the UI for The Division, Tom Clancy's The Division. Um, it's going to be coming out, uh, I think they were saying like March of 2016. The um, <clears throat> reason why I'm doing this is because I absolutely cannot wait for this game. It looks freaking awesome. I mean, like... I don't know, it's like the RPG factor and like the the action shooter and like the post ugh, the apocalyptic kind of thing. Ah, it's just it's perfect. It's perfect. So I'm really excited for that. Um okay, so I'm gonna get into the UI. So <clears throat> the thing that's really cool about uh the UI for this game is that uh it's super like it's super neat, I guess. Um, everything is, like, if you have an image, it's got a very thin border on it. It's very, like, simple. Um, it's, like, the screen is not cluttered at all. Honestly, they try to hide as much of the HUD as possible, pretty much. Um, and it, it just looks beautiful. Like, it, it looked so cool when in the, um, in the, the gameplay video from, from E3, uh, the guy opens up his his map, and rather than just displaying the map of, uh, <clears throat> I think it's New York, um, displaying the map of New York across like the whole screen, instead it does a uh, 3D layout of the map on like projected onto the floor of where the character was standing, and it says like it shows like a beam where it shows where he is, you know. And he's standing in the middle of the map, like, looking at it. And I just thought it was the coolest freaking thing ever. Like, that's... <clears throat> who does that? Who... Who does... That's awesome. That's so cool. Like, you can just walk around in the map and stuff. And, like, that's awesome. And I just... I don't, like... I don't know if other players are going to be able to see it um, when you display it on... Like, with your character. That would be really cool, because then you could be like... Yo, let's go. Let's go here, and then you just stand on it, you know. But I don't know. Um, I think it's. I think it was really, really cool. Um, <clears throat> in the rest of the game, it, it's just like I so admire the UI that they have. It like I I haven't seen the um, the loading screens yet. Um, I haven't seen the startup menu. Just because it hasn't been shown yet, um, but in-game footage looks absolutely awesome. Um, the uh, what was it? Oh, the um, I remember seeing when he he opens up a uh, like a loot crate to find a weapon in it, and it showed the weapon, and then when he looks at it, it kind of like briefly like it just went over it with like this orange like. I don't know, like, it was kind of like a laser highlight, like, it just, it looked so cool, and just made you like, ah, yeah, I just got this, and, um, it was just cool, I like that, and then it had, like, a, a thin beam, uh, the beam, <clears throat> depending on the color of it, shows, like, the rarity of the weapon, so, like, I don't know the exact names for it, but I'm sure it's just, like, white is, like, a common weapon, or, like, a gray color, blue is like more uncommon the orange or like goldish color was like the the rare you know like you're hardly ever gonna get them but since it was e3 people that was like all that was in the loot crates just to show how cool it is to get them um but like you they're contaminated when you get them because you can you only get them you eh. i think it's like the chance of getting rare weapons or something like that it was in the dark zone i can't i'm not gonna even do it but um it was just really cool because it had like the beam of the color of the rarity of the weapon and then it displayed um like a kind of like a hologram type thing I, like it's basically all the ui is like a hologram which is really cool so you can like look at it from different angles and stuff but um <clears throat> And then it just showed, like, the weapon's name, a little picture of, like, what category the weapon is, like a submachine gun or a light machine gun or assault rifle kind of thing. Um, and then it just gave, like, a brief uh, description of 
like the uh, characteristics of the gun uh, stats. I mean, um, but yeah, I thought that was really cool. And like they they had it where um, to extract the weapons in the dark zone, which is the PvP area and where you can get a bunch of cool stuff. And um, I totally want to talk about the game, but I'm trying to focus on the UI. <laughs> but um, so in the dark zone, you have to extract the weapons, and to do so, there's an extraction area where um, you as a character have to go there and you um, set off a flare. So it shoots the flare into the sky, and so you have a certain amount of time that you have to wait before a helicopter will come in and drop down the rope, and you can put on the weapons or armor or whatever you got that is contaminated um, onto the, the rope, and then the helicopter will take it away. But the thing is, since it's a PvP area, <clears throat> other players will attack you while you're doing this, and they could potentially steal your loot. Um, and then they'd have to extract it too, which gives you a chance to come back and try to get it. But, um, so you extract it. And so, when, I remember when he, when he shot the flare, as soon as he shot it, there was like, again, like the weapon, there was like a beam that went up. And when he did that, it was like the beam went up. The little, like a little circle, red circle, came around. It was a red beam, but they like came up, and it, I don't know. It just looked so cool. But the way the way it was designed, like I don't know how they did this, but they just had the most like elegant, um, like non cluttered, just really cool, like high tech looking. Even though it's so simplistic, but it's it was just it looks awesome. I love it. I love it. And I cannot wait. For this game to come out, um, I think the the reason why it's so like uh, desirable is just because of how neat it is. Like a lot of the times, like games are really cluttered. You know, like uh, you've got like your ammo, your weapon, or whatever is taking up like a huge chunk of your screen. You got like your map, which takes up another corner of it. You got like your powers, abilities, all that kind of stuff taking up the bottom of it. You got quests or whatever on the side. Like you've got like two inches to see your character. And like, I don't know. I mean, change of resolution, whatever. But I mean, still, like, I just really, really like the way that they, they approached it. And like, <clears throat> personally, I think it's going to start changing the way... Uh, companies do their games, you know, because, like, I mean, I'm one person that likes it, that I know of, you know, and there's tons of people that are looking forward to this game, so I'm sure they like the, the UI to it, too, so I think companies are going to start changing some things to make the UI a little bit less cluttered and more, um, visually pleasing I guess you could say uh, just because how neat it is I just love neatness with it I like being able to really uh, admire the environment and all the action taking place rather than like getting pissed off or something that I have to like just keep changing my like camera angles so I can find like I don't know, loot chest, just something, just something, but it's annoying, um, and if, if I were to, 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 like, to design a game, um, I would, I would definitely do it the same way, I mean, probably not in, like, the, like, the more futuristic kind of vibe, just because I'm more of a, a medieval kind of guy, um, but, like, I'd, I'd have it where there was, like, no UI basically so you can kind of get fully submerged into the game where all you're focused on is your character and not getting hit by like swords or arrows or or whatever um but th that's different um but yeah so that's that's actually basically it <laughs> um I hope you guys really enjoyed the video because I enjoyed talking about it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.